Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of One Man Stream. In today's episode I'm going to show you how to make this slide graphic and we'll show you step by step how we did this uh, in GT Title Design. Sorry, we'll show you all the animation and then how we animated the specific layers. We'll also show you how you can make edits to this uh, with GT Title Editor. So we're going to have this and so much more for you on today's episode of One Man Stream. Before we get started today, I would like to invite everyone to go over to our website, onemanstream.com. We have many of the graphics that we have created during this series, along with some of the vMix UTC title controllers. And all of them are just a few dollars a piece, uh, but it's a way that you can help support One Man Stream. So we're going to get started today in GT Title Designer. So over here to the right hand side, um, is all of the different components and I have these marked off in layers and if you've seen any of my previous videos uh, the reason I have these in certain layers is because it's easier to animate a layer than it is to animate each individual uh, item within that layer so let's go ahead and run the animation you can see this first part right here uh, kind of starts things off then this bar right here moves over to the right and then this big large text field comes in and it comes from the bottom of the first element all the way down here and then at the very end it actually shows this little gray bar as the last element as it's coming down it's also revealing the text that we have in there and the way that i really use this in a production is i use this on game day i'll have one of these set up for the visiting team and then one of these set up for the home team it'll have maybe their stats or it might have who a hot player is uh, it may have uh, what their record is and how they've done in the last several ball games. You can modify this to use uh, however you would like. But what I, what I like about this graphic is the automation. So we're going to go ahead and start with this. So I'm going to turn off a couple layers. And we're going to start with this right here. Now the way that we actually got started with this is we came up here and clicked on rectangle. And we're going to pull us out a little rectangle. And what we're going to need to do here is we're going to go to format and then we're going to put a radius uh, and round the edges over. So let's go ahead and make this 30 on X and 30 on Y. And you can see how the edges are rounded over. Let's change the fill color to gray and that's probably too dark. Let's make it one shade lighter. Uh, we'll make it gray and then we're going to go ahead and we're going to give it an outline so let's go ahead and give it black and let's start with three and uh, yeah i think that's pretty much what we had before our next component is this area right here this lighter gray circle well what we do is we come over here and we grab this ellipse then we're going to drag us out a circle kind of like this and we're going to tap on the menu bar and then we're going to use our arrow keys and we're going to kind of move it how we'd like it now we're also going to go and hit the fill color on this we're going to make it a lighter shade of gray we're also going to give it a border and we're also going to make it three and now we're going to have to come through and we're going to use something that we've used before and you can see this in other tutorials I've done. I did a tutorial on masking and that's what we're going to have to do now in order to get this effect up here like you see it. So we're going to go to effects. We're going to come over here and we're going to hit mask and then we're going to mask it by this rectangle right here which is rectangle 5. So we're going to click on the ellipse. We're going to click on mask. And we're going to click on rectangle five and as you can see only the portion that overlaps this rectangle rectangle five is now showing so that's how we're able to get that effect next we're going to go up here to image and uh, we're going to find something we like let's go with something a little bit different Let's click on this right here 
and it comes in pretty huge so we're gonna scoot it over and we're gonna make it smaller then I'm gonna type uh, click on the title bar and I'm gonna get it exactly where I want it about right there and then I'm also gonna use that mask effect again I don't want this whole thing showing I just want uh, the portion that's overlapping this ellipse to show so in order to make this so that it only appears in this area right here we're gonna have to create us another mask so we're gonna go over here and we're gonna click on this rectangle and we're gonna pull it out like this and then we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna make the opacity one and rectangle six we're gonna call this GE mask so we're gonna click on our image one which is the GE fights logo then we're gonna come up here to mask and then we're gonna click on GE mask and you can see now that only the part of the logo uh, that was within that mask is now showing so we're gonna stay with this for right now the next part we're gonna show okay so let's go ahead and set things back in motion again and then you can see this comes up and extends over to the right and as it extends over to the right it reveals the text so I'm gonna show you how we did that now so we're gonna go up here to this rectangle we're gonna start us a rectangle right here and we're gonna bring it out this way now one thing I am gonna do is I'm gonna click on this rectangle 5 that we made I'm gonna to go to format and I can see that the height is 115 so that's the exact same thing that I want this to be so let's go ahead and change this to 115 and now these guys are gonna line up perfectly so I'm gonna bring this back just a little bit and I'm actually gonna make this one this color gray and you'll see why in just a moment okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on this rectangle and we're gonna call this one light gray which is rectangle six and we are going to copy and paste and this came out to be light gray one so we're going to change this one to we're going to call it light black because it's not it's not real dark so we're going to call it light uh, light black and we're going to click OK then we're going to go up here under fill color and we're going to pick this color right there and then we're going to slide it back just a little bit and I think you can see what we're doing now so to get this effect here both of these reveal themselves to the right now how did we get oh well let's do this we need to go ahead and we need to round the edges on this so let's go over to format we're gonna make these both 30 let's go back to home and we're gonna make a border on this and we're gonna make it three and that looks kind of similar so then what we're gonna do now is we're gonna to have to put an ellipse over here too in order to get this rounded part so let's do the ellipse again we'll click on the ellipse bring that over here click on the menu bar and what we're gonna do now is we clicked on the ellipse that we just made we're gonna to go to effects we're going to take the opacity down to one like we did a moment ago and then we're going to go home click on color we're going to make it black we make the fill color to match the light black rectangle that we made and now we're going to bring in one more we're going to do one more mask let's click on this rectangle here and we only want the part within this mask showing so let's go ahead like we did before let's go to effects take that mask down to one and let's call this right mask so what we're going to do is we're going to click on this ellipse we're going to click on mask we're going to click on right mask and you can see i got a little bit hanging down here but you can see now that it's giving you this kind of a shape right here so let's let's fix that just got to bring this right mask up a, a smidge a smidge more oops there 
There we go. And so now we have this very similar effect. Now, one thing we're going to have to do, and this is very simple, is we have to make sure that we have these two layers behind this layer right here. So the next elements are these two text boxes right here. So we're going to click on the ABC. We're going to bring this over. We are going to center them in the middle left to right, in the middle up and down. We're going to use this font right here. We're going to make the color white. And we're going to make it a little bit bigger. Ooh, that's too big. Make it 48. And then we're going to make it extra bold. And I want to go ahead and click this button right here that says configure automatic text box resizing. I'm going to click the down arrow and then I'm going to click on shrink. So whatever I type here is going to stay within this text box field. So we'll go ahead and type in one man's stream. And then we'll right click and copy and right click and paste. We'll bring this down, double click inside it, and change this to animated title. Animated title. So the only other part that we haven't done are these three right here, one, two, and three. So let's go ahead and click those off again. We're gonna go up here to rectangle. We're gonna start about right here and go almost to the edge, bring it down. We are gonna change the fill color to this gray right here. And then let's go to format and find the length of this or the width of it. It's uh, 1269. So we're gonna make us another rectangle here at the bottom. Make it 1269. Click on the title bar, use our arrow keys. And then we're gonna change this to a grayish color. Now the last thing we have to do is put the text in. So we're just gonna make one large text field like this. We're gonna center it, sorry, we're gonna center it to the top actually. So we put in text line one, text line two, text line three, text line four. And then when we're going to go back up here to our font, we'll choose the same font. We'll make the fill color white and then we'll make it extra bold. Let's do this, kind of center the text right there. So whatever you wanted to put in here, like in the example I had, I had some uh, pregame stats and some names of players or whatever, uh, or you could just put whatever, you know, in here, whatever you wanted to and, and purpose, purpose it for whatever use you have for it. So that's how we actually constructed it. Now I'm going to show you uh, how we did the animation. All right, so let's look at this, the first elements first. So we're gonna click layer two and we're gonna go to animations. Well, this one here, I didn't animate as a layer because I wanted to have this logo with a different reveal from what the other elements were. So let's do the top left rectangle. You can see that's a fade with no delay. So we know this is coming in first. So we have a fade effect, no delay, and the duration is gonna be 0.5 seconds. Let's look at the ellipse. Same thing, we have a fade, no delay, and the duration is a half a second. Now this one man stream, that actually has a half a second delay. Its duration is also a second, I'm sorry, its duration is also a half a second, and it is a zoom. Now with zoom, you don't put a direction because it's either, it's coming from the background to the foreground, that's what the zoom is. Now, if you were following along, we had two elements coming in here, one with no delay and one with a half second delay, and the duration of both were a half a second. So that means this, these first elements take one second for them to play out. 
So let's go to the next part. So we have rectangle two. It is a one second delay. It's gonna start after these guys. It's gonna reveal itself from the left side going toward the right. Same thing for rectangle three. We put no animation for the mask. The mask is just gonna do its thing. We're gonna to go to the ellipse. The same one second delay with a half second duration. Top rectangle text, same thing. One second delay, duration of a half a second. Top rectangle subtext, same thing. One second delay and a duration of a half a second. So now if you add in these two elements, we are at a playout duration of one and a half seconds. So when this next layer comes in, we're gonna do the, uh, the entire layer together and we're gonna do that one and a half second delay. Remember we had one second for this, a half a second for this, so that's one and a half seconds and this duration is gonna be one second. That will conclude our tutorial today where we showed you how we made this animated graphic that you see right here. If you like what we're doing here at One Man Stream, please give me a thumbs up and a like and make sure you do subscribe so that you'll be alerted as soon as new videos are posted. If you get an opportunity, uh, head on over to our website, onemanstream.com. As I said in the beginning of this tutorial, we have most of the graphics that we've created along this journey at uh, the website. And we also have some of the VMix UTC controllers. Some of the graphics include our baseball, bas basketball, football, hockey, and tennis graphics, along with several uh, boxing and MMA graphics. So if you get a chance, please stop by onemanstream.com. Thank you so much.